So the Surface Pro 3 is here, and it looks pretty nice, but how do you actually use it? We're going to take a quick look and see what we can find out. Microsoft wants this to be the combination of laptop and tablet, and they've nailed the first part with the laptop. The keyboard is really nice, typing on it is really uh, enjoyable, and you've got a touch screen so you can reach out and touch whenever you want, uh, but weirdly when you touch certain spaces the virtual keyboard will pop up, then it goes right away when you're typing. Now in an all touch screen environment, you've got the virtual keyboard that you can use pretty much any way you want to. This is the pretty standard Windows 8 keyboard. Microsoft hasn't done anything special with it, but with the hinge that they have now, you can move it uh, so that you can adjust it really however you want. And when you've got it set on that nearly flat setting, thanks to that friction hinge, you've got just enough prop space there where you can really type very comfortably. You can move around, and uh, the, the wide screen, this 12-inch display, gives you a lot of real estate to type with two hands. There's also a handwriting section, which is something that has been a part of Windows 8 for a while, and it's even better than it was before. Uh, even with my absolutely terrible penmanship, uh, you can write very comfortably and very fluidly. Uh, you have very simple gestures for correcting things like spacing or adding punctuation or removing things. It's incredibly simple, especially with the 3 by 2 aspect ratio of this display, it's very comfortable to use in either portrait or landscape. This is one of my favorite features from the original Surface, and it's clearly something that works really, really well on the Surface Pro 3, especially with the new very comfortable pen. This is definitely something that I think a lot of people will actually enjoy using once they become comfortable with it. You can also use the split keyboard function, which uh, works a lot better in portrait than it does in landscape, in my opinion, uh, where you can actually hold it with two hands and really get in there and type. And again, like all versions of Windows 8, you can flip back and forth between the number pad if you want to, or depending on how comfortable you are holding it, you can adjust the size of this keyboard so that it can fit the additional number pad, which happens when it's all the way in the smallest setting. And again, this is really just a comfort thing. I prefer it in the large setting, personally. OneNote is a big thing for pen input users, really a big thing for any uh, Windows user, and the uh, trace and erase function on the pen makes it very, very comfortable to use. Uh, handwriting notes is still a pretty big deal. So what about things that aren't productivity-based? This is Project Spark, uh, which is really kind of a neat video game creation world uh, engine thing that Microsoft has been working on for both the Xbox One and Windows 8. Uh, and as you can see, it has no problems drawing with the Surface. This is the Core i5 version uh, with the resolution uh, cranked all the way up. So it's, it's pretty resource intensive to do something like this uh, to be able to run around. And these are pretty basic functions here that you can use uh, without the keyboard at all, it has uh, touch-friendly input gestures for Project Spark, so this is kind of a given. It's really built for this touch environment, but obviously not every game and not every application is. Uh, so while you can enjoy Project Spark, uh, th there may be some situations where uh, you'll have to go through the training and, and really get used to the touch controls, because they're a little different if you've used the keyboard or if you've used a controller, uh, but still perfectly functional once you know what's going on. Diablo 3, on the other hand, is really built for a mouse and keyboard, but you can kind of trick it uh, with the Surface Pen, uh, where you can tap around to play and uh, you know do your basic attacks. Uh, the pen has a right click now, so you can right click and tap and get your uh, secondary actions on without any uh, delay or anything like that. And then, of course, you've got your icons on the bottom for your other attacks. It's actually a lot of fun to play this way. It's definitely not all perfect, though. Uh, as you can see here, Chrome misbehaves a little bit when it becomes uh, controlled by touch and by the Surface Pen. Uh, resizing the window here, for example, is really just kind of awkward and, and slow and kludgy, which is really interesting because Internet Explorer does not have this problem on the Surface. It, it's very smooth and very uh, fluid. Um, but that's just a quick look here. Thanks for watching.